Hi guys, I just wanted to make a, a little video just before I start this. Um, I just want to uh, just want to say, and it's how do I put this? It's more of a it's kind of a disclaimer, really. This is my first ever video outside of the how to set up uh, valet and business for under seven hundred pound. This is my first real video and showing how to do something. So please, please, please forgive the low production values, the low camera uh, skill. Um, <laughs> I've never done this before, um, but I really want to try and make a kind of like a series as such on uh, like things that you always get this product, um, how to do the bodywork, how to do that. There's not there is, but there's not so much out there on how to do your wheel arches, how to clean your brake calipers, door jams, that type of stuff. That's the type of stuff I want to be able to put out for, for you lot to follow, uh, as, as well as giving you kind of hints and tips on products, um, the best ones out there, the one, great ones that are value for money, uh, loads of different things. And I'll... I will say I know everybody does things a different way and everybody always has negative comments or oh, you should have done this or you should have done that or you should have done this well do you know what I do it the way I do it I've picked up um, tips and tricks off of people like uh, Car Guru, Pan the Organiser, uh, Larry at Ammo NYC, all that stuff I watch all their videos, I, I, like I say, I've been doing it for years, um, watching all their videos, getting their hints, getting their tips, um, but when you're out there doing the job, you, you do things the way you do things, you have mentally, you know what steps you should be taking, you know how you should be doing things, um, but certain things take Time, different amounts of time, different ways of doing things. You might find, oh, it works better that way and it doesn't scratch it or it doesn't harm it or anything like that. Um, so I just wanted to take this bit at the beginning just to say, please forgive the low production value, the low direction value, uh, the, the low uh, camera value, really. I'm just doing it on my phone at the moment. Um, but yeah, I do want to... Uh, kind of kick this off as such with different things now and again <coughs> uh, we'll, we'll do things like interiors uh, brake, like I've said, interiors, brake calipers, that type of stuff um, anyway, I'm going to let you get on and watch uh, the video that I've made about how to do your wheel arches uh, well the way I do the wheel arches anyway uh, I've tried to do it in real time um, you might find me cutting here and there but it's only because I've been doing angles um real time it shouldn't take you any more than five six minutes per wheel arch probably uh the one i've done today was my actual own van that i used for valentin and um, so underneath it's plastic and metal we i do know that a lot of cars nowadays underneath the wheel arches have carpet and it is a lot easier to take the wheels off if you can not everybody can uh, sometimes there's not that 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 situation doesn't allow itself to take the wheels off um, but if you've got access always 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 guys always try and do underneath the wheel arches even if it's just a spray with a hose just to knock all the the top dirt off you don't have to go into as depth as I've done with uh, different things um, but anyway here's the video hope you like it the products I've used, the links will all be in the description down below. Um, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Um, for some unknown reason, I've got like 250 subscribers from one video that I put on two years ago. Um, so that's kind of spurred me on to do a few more. Alright guys, enjoy! Good morning everyone. Sorry I've not been about for a wee while, but I've been really, really, really busy. Uh, today we're going to have a wee tutorial on how to clean your wheel arches whether it be metal, plastic, fabric, whatever it's more or less always the same way that you do it uh, so today I'm going to be using 
Infinity Wax APX, Infinity Wax Citrus Pre-Wash, both diluted to 5 to 1, just to make them that little bit extra stronger. We'll be using these two brushes. This is a standard soft bristle brush from Halfords. This is a, one of the larger detail brushes. We'll be applying, lovely, we'll be applying the APX or the All Purpose Cleaner through a spray bottle and we'll be applying the Citrus Pre-Wash in one of these little pump sprayers. Now, there's basically just, it's normal steps, it's kind of common sense to be honest, if you've been doing this a wee while you'll know what it means. Um, but essentially we're going to give it a pre-rinse, then we're going to give it a blast with a pressure washer, then we're going to give it APX, let that sit for a couple of minutes, rinse it off, put some more APX on, let it sit, agitate it, rinse it off, uh, and we'll show you some before and afters using the brushes uh, and these two products. These I'll put links to these products in the description down below. If it's something that you want me to keep doing, as in this is the first video I've done really in two years, but if this is something that you want, to, want me to keep doing, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notifications bell, um, send me some comments if you think I'm doing it wrong, if you think I'm doing it right, but I've been doing it this way for the past six or seven years, I've never had any problems. Uh, so, let's go ahead and show you what I'm starting about. Now this is what I'm going to be starting with, apologies if you can just hear the wind, but it's a, it's a really windy day today. This is what I'm starting with. Mud, caked on dirt. It's pretty minging to be perfectly honest. So, what I'm going to do, pump up my sprayer. And we'll give it a good wee spray just inside the wheel arch. Now this is citrus pre-wash. Make sure we get into all the wee nooks and crannies with it. I think we'll even do those wee bits down there, what do you think? So if we spray this on, we will literally leave it two or three minutes and then get the pressure washer onto it. There you go. back in for another review and this is just after the pre-wash so the next stage after this is going to be using the all-purpose cleaner or as Infinity Wax called their product APX so we'll spray that on we'll give it we'll leave it for a minute give it some agitation and then we'll see how we're looking after that
Right, so we'll leave that on just for a minute. Just let it soak in. Doesn't take long at all. A couple of minutes in my or even 30 seconds to be perfectly honest, it's quite strong stuff, especially the way that I've diluted it down. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this brush and we're just going to, come on, there we go, just going to agitate. Make sure we hit every little bit that we've hit. This just helps get the majority of it agitated quickly. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but as it foams up, it turns a kind of brown colour. That's the dirt getting loosened off. So what we'll do now, leave that to the side. We'll pick up this little detailing brush. I'm going to put this camera down actually, it's a pain in the backside trying to hold it and we'll uh, get into all the wee nips and crannies. The other reason I'm trying to do it this way is I'm trying to do it real time so you can see how long it actually takes. And yes, I know, I've just done the whole thing with the big brush but now I'm just going over it with the smaller one. Just the extra wee bit. Yeah, on a normal car this would be plastic in the edge. Plus it's my van so I'm not too worried about scratching it because it needs a full decontamination with tar and everything else so we'll get to that another day right now all i'm concentrating on is getting this weight latch nice and clean now this one's quite easy because it's metal and plastic so this one's quite easy to do but why do we do this because it gets rid of all the salt and all the debris from over the winter months Go. Make sure that's all clean, looking good, and we're just going to give it another wee spritz with the all purpose cleaner. Just make sure it doesn't dry out too much, I don't like it drying out. done so all I've got to do now is wash it off. Put you down here.
Yeah, right, so let's right, let's take a look at what it looks like now. So much better, so much better. You can see the blue of the paint behind. So there's still bits. They've actually shown white, but it's not, it's just the reflection up here. That bit there is all as clean as I can get it anyway with what I've got. But that is proper clean, looking good. All the salt's removed. Bob's your nanny. So there you go. That was a kind of real time, time wise, real time of how to do your wheel arches. Get rid of the salt, get rid of the dirt. It's built up over the winter months. Um, as I say, Infinity Wax APX, Infinity Wax Citrus Pre Wash, both diluted 5 to 1, uh, just to get that a little bit stronger, uh, just because it was underneath the arches, which is getting all the muck and all the salt and all the dirt over the, the last few months built up. Pressure, sprayer, brilliant for citrus, makes it so much easier to put on, better than doing the trigger all the time. You could use the APX in one of those as well. Uh, I like to use this because it's a bit more. For me anyway, it's more direct. If I'm doing spot cleaning, I can just thingy it in. But hopefully the video was informative. Hopefully everything was okay with it. Um, this video is not sponsored by Infinity Wax, by the way. Um, they're just one of my suppliers, and I prefer using Infinity Wax because it's so much better than a lot of other stuff that I've used. And I've used Auto Smart, I've used Auto Glim. Um, I've used a lot of different ones, to be perfectly fair. But Infinity Wax, for the money, I think... $13.99 for 5 litres of that, it makes 25 litres, it's a no-brainer. Anyway, like I say, I'm not sponsored by them, uh, I will put links in the description down below. If you like the video, hit subscribe, more subscribers I get, more content I'll put out. Um, and at that, thank you very much, see you in the next one.